Chocolate testing. This one comes from Venezuela. doing on today's video i just started like on today's video it's direct like that on today's video we're going to be visiting the chocolate museum it's a famous chocolate like chocolate producers i can tell chocolate company in bayonne and yeah it will be about chocolate and maybe later we'll see if we can go together to try out some creole food in town so stay with us Stay with us, I mean me and my friends. I have Mitian and Adrian and the baby. And we will be having some fun. And we are so excited because there's free chocolate at the end. I think that is the greatest motivator for this for this trip. This trip, for this visit. Yeah. So, see you. And the weather is nice. So, the chocolate museum is called Atelier. I think I'm pronouncing it. L'atelier du chocolat. Yes, if you come to Bayonne, like you'd find this famous, like it's a famous brand. And I think, not I think, okay, no, let's just enter and see what they have for us. Inside the the chocolate museum, and we're just seeing the the process of the chocolate is being made from how they they take it from that this is the tropical forest. It's continuing like it's a process, but they say the the what the fruit is called the part of the fruit of the cocoa tree. I've forgotten, but there's a name. There's a name for the tree. So it shows the process. Even here, they're saying here yeah. the foot of the cocoa tree, the pots are heavy and colorful. And yeah. And apparently, according to how the lady was explaining, Bayon has like some of the best like the best not coffee the best chocolate so yeah so we'll just be having a tour a short tour of the museum and then we'll see what they have for us later like she just explained to us and the the modes are self-explanatory but after we'll see if she'll come and explain more things to us
so we are continuing to to walk around the museum and like we're just seeing different fabrications mm -hmm. and how they're making the things so this one is like the one we've just seen is the Rocher, Roger, Roger, whatever, how, depending on how you pronounce it, the famous chocolate. And the lady said Bayonne is like the capital of chocolate in France. So all the, all the videos as we're passing by are showing and telling us a story, like even as we're seeing the material, not the material, like the tools that were being used to, to make the chocolates. So yeah, hey, this is not an easy job. Like it's it's work. Like just imagining how a simple chocolate is made and seeing everything that is being put to make that chocolate, hey, it's job. The moment we've been waiting for, they have free chocolates for us who who visited. So we are very happy and excited for this moment because it's what we've been looking forward to. Mm. Alors, je vais vous expliquer les différents chocolats. Mm -hmm. Donc, attendez euh, que tout le monde soit servi. Donc, on commencera par les chocolats noirs. C'est les chocolats qui sont devant vous. Et on terminera par les chocolats au lait, par les chocolats plus sucrés. Ok. That is nice. We are advancing. The chocolate we're seeing in front of us is from the black chocolate to, she said, the most sugary. So that is how we're going to start the tasting from the, I think, like the bitter one as we continue to the sweet one. Les chocolats du Venezuela, d'Amérique latine en général, le chocolat du Venezuela, est peu amer. Chocolate testing, this one comes from Venezuela. Quasiment pas d'amertume. Donc, croquer et laisser le fond. Voilà. Ça vient de Venezuela. The first one. The first one. Donc là, il sera immense plus amer. We have water to remove the taste from our mouth. The second one comes from Madagascar. The first dark chocolate wasn't very bitter, as typical dark chocolates would be, so it's good. From Venezuela, then Madagascar. Le troisième chocolat, c'est un 80% de cacao. 80%. Et là, c'est un Donc, il y a une fête de Saint-Omé, une de Côte d'Ivoire et une d'Équateur. Notre chocolat maison, c'est Côte d'Ivoire. Et notre travail de Côte d'Ivoire sera, l'année prochaine, sera essentiellement 75% de cacao. 
Là, on fera qu'on va le trouver à 80%, voire 97%. Alors, ce moment, on l'a plus, mais euh, le gros pourcentage de cacao, ça sera tout dans la fraque. Donc là, 80% to 87%. Il va y avoir d'autres arômes de cacao. Ok. Mmh. As usual, I'm having my French visit with Medrin and Adrian. Follow their channel. After this, we're going to eat real food. <laughs> For this one, it has 70% cocoa, but with uh, how many percent of chiba? Je pas eu le quatrième. With a percentage of sweet chili. One percent. One of sweet chili. Mm, this one is nice. Il vient de ce chocolat. Le, euh, alors, le quatrième, c'est le même assemblage que le 80% avec une feuille de Sao Tomé, une de Côte d'Ivoire, une d'Équateur. Mais à 70% de cacao. Ok. From Sao Tome, Côte d'Ivoire et... And ouais. Équateur. And Équateur. Je ne sais pas où c'est, mais... Et il y a 1% de piment d'Espelette. Donc après, selon les piment sensibilités du palais, on va l'avoir beaucoup sweet chili. ou un peu piquant. Pour ce one, vous pouvez en fait tester le chili, comme à la back de la tongue, mais quand vous le tester, c'est comme sweet. Mais quand vous le tester, vous pouvez tester le chili. Mais c'est bien. Ils disent que c'est le sweet chili. Donc... Um, Three more to go. I think 37% of of cocoa and sesame seeds. I can have sesame seeds too. So. Mm, oh, it's nice. Mm. Sesame is sim sim. It has sim sim inside, so and it is a sweet one, so. Oh, we are progressing well. How do you feel? <laughs> yeah, I think I prefer this one. With, the one with Pimo. Pimo is uh, the sweet pepper, a little bit of pepper. This one and the sesame one. These are my two best so far. We are we are grading like top four now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the last ones are the sweet ones, sweeter ones. Mm -hmm. L'amertume du cacao en poudre va s'équilibrer avec la noisette. Là, il faut manger, euh, il ne faut pas lécher. Quoi. Mm -hmm. <rire> faut manger une noisette. C'est un certain type of noisette. C'est un peu de noisette. Chestnut. Non Non, c'est un peu pour Nutella. Ah, ok. Je ne sais pas si tu es chan, mais je sais. Ces derniers deux ont dit que c'est un house. House recipe, like the same one, but under the house. So house is. Eh. As you can see, my sisters have joined me. They've been here. <laughs> but yeah, this is of the house. So let's see. It it looks like a dark chocolate. So. This is like cocoa. Yeah. Actually, the the third one was sweeter than this one. Although I think the test inside is different from the one from outside. the one outside. Yeah, that one was it's like coco coco, but the third one was sweeter yeah. than. Yeah, but it's a type of nut. It's a crispy chocolate, like we are well, uh, almond, noisette, and the coated pancake. Uh, pancake. Pancake. Yeah. Oh, eh, this one's are coated with pancake. They have uh, said almond. Yeah, almond, noisette nuts. And noisette nuts. You'll tell us what noisette nuts because as yeah. we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. But this one's a crispy chocolate. Mm. Actually nice. Yeah. 
the crunchy it's like corn flakes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah well they go the last one yeah. <laughs> this one and that sad one were my favorite. Yeah, this is Sasam one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me too. This is Sasam one, this one, and the Primo one, the chili one, because it's just very, it's not a common one like chili inside chocolate. So. Adrian, which one are your favorite ones? Well, mine is the 80% chocolate, mm -hmm. and the last two ones. Which one was the 80%? From Equatorial. The first one or the second? No. From this side. From second. The second. Ah, the second one from the from the end. No. From the back. Yeah, from the first. Ah, chocolate. before the, the chili one. Yeah, before okay. the chili one was eighty percent cacao. Mm -hmm. So it was from Equatorial. Was three by the three mm -hmm. origins. Uh, Salvador. Salvador? No. Equator. Um, Sumi, Sumi, and Madagascar. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. There's, there's a word. Yeah. You guys know which one, but yeah. <laughs> well, for me and Metrin, as it ones. Yeah. It's done. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Let's see. I think that is it. We'll see how we are heading out from here, but we'll take you with us to go and eat. We're supposed to sit outside here, which is not really friendly for us. Eh, eh, us with our African <laughs> African jeans, we are feeling cold. So we'll take take out and go home, eat from there, and then tell you how we feel. We have like a legit reunion person, so he'll tell us if 
what he thinks if it's if it's legit oh, from yeah. home or yeah. they're playing games with us. On us. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So at least we've ordered three different things so that you can taste. Come okay. kawaida from each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Next time we we'll, next time we we'll look for a Kenyan restaurant and cuz we are Kenyan we'll prove if it's the real like hey, Kenyan. Hey, we look for gali kama imeiva. Yeah, I'm having caramelized pork. This one there is hugai sausages and and, and the lentils. It's just is something soup. else. This is what did you have? Uh, chicken, chicken masala. masala. Chicken masala. Okay. So we'll tell you how we feel about it maybe at the end, or we'll write it. If we don't say, we'll write it in the the description of how we think about the food that we've ordered. You can even survive in a so we've we've finished. We've actually tried to finish all the food. <laughs> the baby is even saying how the food is. We won't we won't recommend the food. Not at all. Zolan, how she took pule, uh, pule masala. It's like masala chicken. My goodness, honestly speaking, to be frank, it was bad. Like, I will give it a one or two, not even two stars. I hasn't star. finished it, yeah. <laughs> it is, like, full. Like, honestly, I've all removed the chicken. Mm-hmm. Maybe I will put it in an, in the oven to see if it will change taste. So the thing is, it was stale, which means it was spoiled. Mm-hmm. The spices were not, like, going to the... You know the way, like, you can boil and then you put inside the spices... That's how I felt like it was. Because there's a way you cook. When you cook together things or you marinate things together, you feel the taste is good. And I've eaten reunion food before, by the way. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't recommend, recommend at all, like one star, just for the fact that he spent time to cook. But and They didn't even spend time. Let me tell you, when we were there, I think we tried to be nice, but we saw them putting the food in the micro- microwave. Mm-hmm. And we thought that they were cooking. I had like the caramelized pork Mm-hmm. What did we think it would be honey glazed? <laughs> yeah, we thought it was going to be honey glazed pork, like the one you put on grill mm-hmm. and with honey. I feel like it was like if, like the normal, I thought it was like dry fry, but mm-hmm. I I was adding salt, I was adding Adrian here. <laughs> let me tell you guys, Adrian's food, I tasted. <laughs> then I said I won't talk, let me wait for, for me to, to taste. Mm-hmm. Then Matrice asked, is this food still? And I was like, you could, but Adrian is enjoying it. <laughs> and he's like, it's okay. Because he told us that it's okay. But for me, I know. Adrian does not usually say uh, something is bad. Mm-hmm. He will rarely tell you something is bad. Especially like for food, he's okay. If it's top notch, he'll still be but okay. But you remember what he said? He was like, this food would have been nice mm-hmm. if it was not for from two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so guys, if you ever find yourself in my own, no, and don't don't do it. Don't do something. Actually, it's just the only reunion restaurant, but mm-hmm. we wouldn't recommend you to go. It's like you know. At first, when mm-hmm. we went and asked the guy, like we passed by because we were going back to get something. Mm-hmm. So we asked him what, like we asked him if like what time they close mm-hmm. and if we can pass by. Mm-hmm. He was like, ah, uh, like we are just open. Yeah. Like we continue until. Like mm-hmm. even how he talked to us, but was we're like, ah, cold. let's not, let's not judge. Mm-hmm. So we went back to the car and called back and actually said like we are coming and this is what we would be ordering and mm-hmm. eh, we expected him to be frying things yeah. to the You know, so, customer service, like the way you can be, ah, nice, yeah, we close at 12, don't worry, mm-hmm. you know, welcome, you know, the way you, a good welcoming spirit, he was just blunt and cold, like, and so we saw him putting the food like in the microwave, moving from a container. Mic- ah, but we didn't think much of it. Mm-hmm. Hey, till we've eaten, <laughs> guys. Uh, 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 uh. This, this, it's a no no, like just to go at your own risk. I don't know, maybe if you go, you'll find a different experience. But mm-hmm. from us, yeah. at least now we know. So yeah. we know which restaurants not to go to. Yeah. Any chance to go to. But definitely mm-hmm. reunion restaurant in Bayonne. Is a, yeah, it's a do, it's a no no. Try the others, but this for one. now, if you find another, even the Japanese one, and it's fresh food because you're seeing them cooking there. Mm-hmm. So go to that one. Even the 
There's another Chinese, I think you'd sit in the previous video, another Chinese buffet. Go to that one because you like you can take the meat and take it to them there to fry food. Mm -hmm. So but the reunion one? No. It's a no no, but we enjoyed the chocolate museum that is so nice. And if you go, because as we've gone on the weekend days on Saturday, mm -hmm. we didn't find the they call them the what? No, no, the name properly in French, but it's like the artisans, the chocolate artisans. <laughs> they probably make the chocolate. Yeah, and they have like their station, so it, like you can see them too. Mm -hmm. If you go during the weekdays, but the weekend, no, I think mm -hmm. also weekdays after five, mm -hmm. they're not there. So mm -hmm. like you can just check on the website. I'll and try see. and leave. A, 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 yeah, a, a, neither. Yeah, I, I, that one was good. The the chocolate museum. In fact, the lady who I don't know what she she's called, but the one who gave us the mm -hmm. chocolate, she was very friendly. She gave each one attention. Chocolate, yeah. She even helps you to take photos. Mm -hmm. She, you know, you just feel like she really wants to not to create an impression, but to make you feel welcome. So, chocolate museum, guys. Come one, come all. It's a very we yeah. recommend hundred three chocolates. For all and like it has enough quantities for you to taste, and I think it's good for you to taste mm -hmm. so that when you want to buy now after, it's not like you're doing oh. trial and error. Mm -hmm. Actually, you now buy because you had like eight, seven options. Yeah. So yeah, you know, so like you know which one that you like and which one you know you'd go for or you'd recommend for someone if someone is for dark chocolate, yeah. if for their sweet ones. Mm -hmm. And it's affordable also. Can you imagine mm -hmm. you pay like six euros, six euros per person for an, an, an adult and you get all that experience. For me, I think it's, it's a good value for your money. Yeah. Because, yeah, museums usually it's around, let's say, 10 euros or so, so mm -hmm. for six euros and you have testing afterwards and you learn something new you even watch a movie inside there. I think there's like a them. movie mm -hmm. yes and especially I think we didn't know that Ghana plays a huge part in chocolate mm -hmm. but they talked like they you can see like in the Ghana factories how they make them and mm -hmm. yeah they even talk in English so don't feel you need like even I think if you'd ask for an English guide mm -hmm. they'd give you but all the the chat that we're walking around what is yeah. said in English. So yeah. English, French, and other languages. I think Spanish. They are yeah, the there's Spanish and then because like in Bayonne, like they call it the Basque country, mm -hmm. they have the Basque language. Mm -hmm. So there's also Basque there if you if Basque is also something that you mm -hmm. you understand. You understand, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so that is it from us. Mm -hmm. Other visit in Bayonne. Yeah, we still have tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We'll see how it goes, but I have a feeling it's gonna go super good. But either way, we will, we will compensate we will... for this. Food yeah. <laughs> yeah, but overall, ah. we've enjoyed the place. It's just the cruel thing. But to be honest, mm -hmm. it's, it's a good break away from our normal life back in Bordeaux. Yes. So see you when you see us. See you. Goodbye.